Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 58. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 7, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we're going to start on the sheet Series Discounts. Last video, we saw how a business might get a catalog. So Kite Flight buys boomerangs from a company named Gel Boomerangs. And Gel Boomerangs sends out this catalog, the name of the boomerangs, the list price, and last video we saw a trade discount. Now last video we saw uh, for the Majestic Butte, right? We took the retail and we this trade discount, so we took a discount on this and we calculated the net cost or the wholesale cost. But that was with a single trade discount. Now we want to talk about what happens when there's more than one trade discount. Now one great example of when you'd have different uh, trade discounts is if you buy, so the sunshine here, $20.50. If you buy 10 or 25 or 50 of them, you get your 50% trade discount. Ah, but if you buy over 100, you get an additional 10%, right? And so series discounts are often shown like this, 50 slash 10. And it just means we'll calculate the 50% uh, trade discount on this, and then we'll add another 10% on top of that. All right, let's scroll down here. We'll look at a couple different methods. This is called the discount separately method. $20.50, that's what the Sunshine sells for list, or the suggested list. If we had a single series discount, we get 50%. So let's go ahead and calculate this. We did this, this is what we did last video. List price times the complement of the trade discount. So equals round, we're dealing with dollars here, the list price or suggested list times the complement, comma 2. So if we have just, um, we buying, if we are buying 50 of them, we pay 1025. Ah, but now if we're buying 100 of them, then we get an additional 10%. So now we take this and multiply it by the complement of the second trade discount. And that'll give us our net cost or our wholesale cost. All right, so we take the amount after the first discount times the complement of the second trade discount, comma 2, close parentheses. This is the dollar amount, so we're going to round it. $9.23. So if you're buying 100, it's 9.23. If you're buying anything less than that, it's 10.25. All right, what about the quad? $30.25 with a 43% trade discount. Remember the trade discount I <laughs> type trade there. The trade discount tells you uh, the amount of the reduction to get down to your net cost. All right? So we take this and we don't want the amount of the de deduction. We want the percentage we paid, so we take the complement. And we're going to round to the penny. Now, so if we buy less than 100 quads, that's the price. Ah, but now if we buy more than 100 quads, we get an additional 5%. So when we multiply, we take the amount after the first discount times 1 minus the complement. Right? What's 1 minus 5%? 95%. So we're going to pay 95% of that. That's our second trade discount. Now notice we're multiplying in succession. You would never add these. You would never add 43 and 5, get 48. You would never add 50 and 10 and get 60 to do series trade discounts. All right, now let's take a look here. The first trade discount gave us a net cost, where we, we took list price times the complement of the first trade discount, right? And here, we actually took that amount and multiplied it by the complement of that. Well, what if we just took list times the complement of the first one and threw it right in there and then multiplied by the complement of the second one, all right? That's going to be our next method, the net cost equivalent net cost equivalent. So net cost equivalent, well, 
and you just take the complement of the first one times the complement of the second one, we'll calculate that individually. And that'll tell us the percentage of the list price that we paid or the net cost equivalent. Now, we can take that one step further. Um, and we'll do that in just a moment. But let's calculate this net cost equivalent. Again, complement of this times a complement of that. And do not round this one. This is not the dollar amount. So I'm going to take complement of 50%. And if I enter that, well, I mean that gives me 50%. And what's the complement of 10%? 1 minus 10%, 90. So we're going to take 90% of this 50. which is the complement of that. All right, And multiplying the two complements of the two trade discounts will give us our net cost equivalent. That means we're going to pay 45% of this list price. right? So if we're buying 100, we're gonna, not going to pay 50%. We're going to pay 45%. Remember, don't add these. It's multiplying. So our net cost, Our net cost is going to be list times net cost equivalent. There's the, the list, the retail price, times the percentage we pay, or the net cost equivalent. This is the dollar amount, so we have to round. 923. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's the same amount we calculated earlier. Now, we can mash these two up, no problem, because the reason why is notice it says list price times net cost equivalent. Well, instead of writing that, I can just take these two things and put it right there. And so this, that's this. And again, if you have a bunch of calculations in a column and you're calculating them, it's nice to have one single, uh, form, a single formula that will fit in a single cell. All right, so I'm going to use the round function. List price times the complement of the first trade discount. I can see I missed. <laughs> My parentheses there. OK, and then times the second complement of that second trade discount. List, complement one, complement two, multiply, and that'll give us our answer. Oh, $9.23. Now let's try the quad. We'll do it all together here, right? List times the complement of the first one times the complement of the second one. So equals round the list price times the complement of the first one times the complement of the second one. Two complements in a row. Isn't that nice? Two rounding the penny. This is the dollar amount. So the net cost is $16.38. So since we're buying. Flat out buying 150 of them, that's going to be our price, 1668. All right, now what about this? Oops. All right, so Kite Flight gets this. Whoa, I'm sorry. I'm just having it in my cursor. So Kite Flight gets this uh, list of boomerangs. And the list price, but now there's three trade discounts all in a row. Well, OK, so now what Gel Boomerangs is saying to Kite Flight, if you buy 500, we're going to give you three series discounts. All right, so for the Sunshine here, list of 2050 will first give you 50%. Notice these are decimals, these are the same exact. Um, first two trade discounts as we saw up here. I just didn't format them. And of course, we, from our study of percentages and decimals, you can format them or not. So we get uh, 0.5. If you buy over 100, we'll give you an extra 0.10. But if you buy 500 or more, we'll give you an, a third discount of 0.6. Now, I certainly remember, so why would a business do this? And if you like seeing this as percentages, by all means, Show it as a percentage. Why would a business do this? Why would they offer such big discounts when uh, someone's buying so many more? Well, I certainly remember having to package up lots of small orders, 25 boomerangs here, 25 boomerangs, 100 here, 150 here. So there's a lot of effort that goes into packaging and shipping, right? 
But if you could just get one huge order for 500, boy, that was awesome. You know, not only the manufacturer, you just m made them all through, shipped them all out. So certainly the business can uh, afford to offer some discounts for large quantities sold. All right, let's see how to do this. Uh, you can imagine in our example we just did just a second ago with two trade discounts, we did list times complement times complement. So with three, you just go list times complement times complement times complement. All right, let's first calculate our net co cost equivalent, and it's just the complement of the three trade discounts. So the first trade discount times the second the complement. Ooh, I did uh, 9 instead of shift 9 times the complement of the third. In essence, you're saying uh, take a 50% reduction, calculate the amount, then take a 10% deduction off that, which would be point, uh, give me 90% of that. And then finally, once you calculated that amount, you say give me a 94% of that one, right? When you multiply those all together, 50% times 90% times 94%, I think, you get 42.3. Now, if you want to see that in action, you can go up to the Formulas tab and Evaluate Formula. right? And then you can click Evaluate or Enter and watch this go. So it's 0.5 times 0.9, and then it will multiply that. Oh, 45, that's what we got in our last um, example where we had two. And now you're going to get the complement of the 6% trade discount. That's 94. So 94% of that, and you get 42.3%. And that'll be, I'll click close here, that'll be of the list price. All right, so equals, and don't round this. But we're dealing with the money part now, so we're going to round that. Either one, this times that or that times that, net cost equivalent times the list, comma, two. So $8.67 for that sunshine when you buy over 500. Finally, the quad, we can put it all together. We just take the three complements times the list price, list price times 1 minus times 1 minus the second trade discount. I did that 9 again, boy. 91. That'll mess up your formula. All right, so we have our 1, 2, 3 complements times the list price, comma, 2. We're rounding to the penny. 1392 for that quad. So a uh, list of $30.25, but if you buy over 500, 1 2 3, boom, you're going to pay 1392. All right, so that's a little bit about uh, series discounts. In our next next video, we'll see how to uh, complete an invoice. See you next video.